On the island of Hispaniola, as in many parts of the developing world, poor, smallholder farmers are running out of options. Their lives are tied to the health of their soil, but when they cut forest to grow crops, the soil is quickly exhausted. So after a year or two, more forest has to be cut. Poverty and forest loss are locked in a vicious cycle. Each problem is making the other one worse. Here, along the Dominican Republic-Haiti border, the tree bank is working to turn that cycle around. Quiterio Aquino is one of the tree bank's poorest farmers. He says his farm no longer produces much because the soil is just too worn out. Even the weeds are sparse. To restore the harvest, we created a highly productive multi-cropping system on about one acre of the farm. The system includes around 20 different crops. This new kind of farming should keep the soil healthy. It will easily feed Quiterio's family and it should prevent the farm's last patches of forest from being cut. It will also allow Quiterio to replant the barren areas of his farm with trees from the tree bank nursery. At the nursery, Gaspar describes some native trees. This species is important for restoring land along streams. Gaspar runs the nursery in collaboration with the other farmers. The trees are available to the farmers for free. The nursery produces various fruit trees as well as native species that are used for replanting forest. Soon as forest planting is about five years old, she knows the trees well and she's proud of how well they've done. Like the other tree bank farmers, Suna is well aware that the forest protects the soil and water. Suna and her family receive a small annual payment for maintaining the planting. Here, her husband, Fausto Mateo, is clearing weeds from around the younger saplings to improve tree growth. The tree bank is protecting established forest too. This fragment of old growth is on Quiterio's farm. It's home to a wide variety of plants and animals, including several rare bird species. This forest is one of the tree bank's credit reserves. In exchange for agreeing never to cut these trees, Quiterio receives a small line of credit for his farm. Coffee is by far the most important forest crop in the region. We built this coffee warehouse and meeting space to help farmers manage their coffee and develop its conservation potential, since virtually all their coffee is shade grown. Community meetings like this one helped create Rising Forests, our own coffee brand. Rising Forests gives our farmers direct access to the U.S. market. That puts more money in their pockets and makes forest conservation more profitable. This is a very complex landscape. Managing it for both conservation and profit is a complicated political task. There is room here for both the forests and the farms, as you can see from this coffee grove. Tree bank farmers are no longer just growing crops. They are also providing essential conservation services. That's a radical change, and if the idea takes root, it could help millions of people and save millions of acres of forest throughout the developing world. <laughs>